In this screencast I'll show you how to use the petroleum assay. So the first thing that you need in order to do this is to have a stream. Then you click on data entry, select the petroleum assay stream type, click on flow and assay and we'll just put in a hundred kilograms per hour for that at the moment. Then we'll click this button to define the assay and if we just go over to Excel for a moment we can see an example of some crude oil assay data and this has been determined using the true boiling point method and we've got different cutoff temperatures with different weight percentages of the distillate. We've also got the specific gravity and we've also got some information about the light ends. Okay so if we just go back over to Pro 2 we need to click on true boiling point because that's the method that was used in our situation. The basis for this was weight percent so we need to click that and then we can move over to this table here and start to enter some data. So we had 10.45 percent distillate at 95 degrees and then we had 21.04 percent total distilled at 149 and we can continue to enter this data to build up the full assay information for the true boiling point. Okay, so now that all of that data is in there, we can move over to the gravity data and we can type in that the specific gravity was 0.837. And we can also actually put some extra information in for the light ends here as well. So if we click on this light ends button, a message comes up saying that we can't define any light ends because there's no components been put into the simulation yet. So if we click OK, click OK here, OK, OK, another message comes up and says, do you want to generate the pseudo components yet? and we'll just click no for now. So if we click on component selection we can add the components that we need for the light ends. So we had methane and we had ethane, propane, butane and pentane. Click OK and if we go back to data entry here, click on flow and assay, we can then go into this light ends section and we can actually provide some information about the light ends. So we had a percent based on weight of 4.69 for the light ends and the mole percent of these was 0.81 the methane 0.87 for the ethane and 16.23 for the propane the butane was 40.97 and the final one for our example was pentane at 41.12 so that should be enough information to define the light ends and it just helps the simulation to be a bit more realistic and often this sort of information is provided in a petroleum assay or, or crude oil assay because you can actually do GC to, to determine these sorts of bits of information. OK, we'll click OK on here, OK again, OK and this time we'll click yes to generate the pseudo components. The new pseudo components have been created so we'll click OK there. And if we can click on component selection, we can see lots of extra components have been added here. These are the pseudo components that have been generated for the petroleum assay. One last thing that we can do is if we go to data entry again and define the assay again, we can view the curve for the uh, true boiling point data. And this will then show us temperature versus percent distilled. 
and gives us the uh, the assay data in a graphical form. Overall, that's how you can use the petroleum assay in Pro 2.